Noah Lyles, just as he did before the 2023 World Championships, is heading to the London Diamond League, but this time not for the 200, just half the length, with the 100 meters. Noah Lyles, Letseal Tobogo, and Zarnell Hughes will headline the men's 100 meters at the London Diamond League meet. A lineup with some of the very best in the world seeing that there is the NCAA champion Louis Hinchcliffe set to make his pro debut, along with Akeem Blake, Johan Blake, Jeremiah Azu, and Akani Simbine. But in the midst of an epic clash, there lies another battle. So where should we begin? Well, this is a good place to start. Noah Lyles needs to break the meeting record. The meeting record held by Tyson Gay since 2010 stands at 9.78 seconds and was set in a year Tyson Gay was an absolute beast. In that year, Tyson took down everyone, the likes of Asafa Powell, Usain Bolt, Johan Blake, Ryan Bailey, Walter Dix, Nesta Carter, all the big names were falling to him even ending that season undefeated. That said, Noah as the reigning 100 meter champion will already have a tough field to contend with, but he is the only man in this field who has gone 9.8 so far this season. But unfortunately, he now faces a situation where that is not good enough to achieve the goals he set out at the start of the season. With Kishan a major barrier to 100 meter gold and has already posted 9.77 seconds with a scary 9.91 recently, the reigning world champion has to at least place one of his cards on the table, which is to show he can break the 9.8 barrier. For what it's worth, history is on the side of the American, seeing that every American 100 meter world champion, except Carl Lewis, eventually ran 9.7 seconds. The reason breaking this record should be a goal of Noah is that he needs the confidence that will come with such a run less than two weeks out to the start of the 100 meters. When facing Thompson, who clearly has top-end speed, but even more dangerously, having a combination of a top-end with a quick start, he will need the confidence of having run under 9.8 before they meet, so that once that gun goes, he can relax and execute properly to chase the Jamaican. So as we get ready to watch a feisty 100-meter race, remember this could potentially be one of the most crucial pre-championship 100-meter races of the year. Once more. Tobogo ran really well on the far side, but it's Noah Lyles 